All right, cool. A3. What the heck is A3? It's A and a 3. It's weird, right? Well, the technical definition of A3, and this is an awesome one, is it's a way of thinking in a systematic problem-solving process that collects pertinent information on a single A3 size piece of paper. Now, I don't have an A3 size piece of paper. This is like 11 and a half, whatever, eight and a half by 11. A3 is like a big old hunker of a piece of paper. It's basically like that big, like a big old chunk of paper. And let's break this definition down. A way of thinking, so it's an approach, a method to, uh, you know, of breaking down information in a systematic problem solving method. So this is like how we organize information and solve it, right? And we put it all on one sheet. Now, this comes from lean, okay? Like that's the world that I come from, lean, problem solving, those kind of things, factories and, you know, making stuff better. An A3 thinking, an A3 document is right in there. Now, I took this from our friends over at lean.org. These dudes are amazing, all right? Now, what this A3 does is it ain't fancy, so let's not make it fancy, all right? What it basically does is it organizes your thought process. I'm going to draw on the screen and screw this thing up, all right? Here we go. Um, basically, hey, you have a big piece of paper, and here's the situation. You're trying to solve something. The natural reaction is to be reactive and go and do it. A3 thinking, think about old Japanese dudes in plants. Want you to think and be logical, right? They say, all right, let's start at the top left. What are we talking about? The problem is what? And you write that in there. Uh, we're having a problem with these defects, or we can't get this done, or we're having some issue, whatever. Conceptualize it. Then they're saying, well, give us some details. Why are we talking about it? What concepts are we covering here? How does it impact us? Why is it worth our time? Give us a frame. All right. Then it's saying like naturally, what's next? So where are we right now? We've been progressing down. We've had this defects. We've had whatever. Show visuals, show charts, show graphs. You're telling a story. You're aligning people. And what you're doing is you're refining your understanding. It's easy to talk, 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 long, 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 and not say anything, but if you gotta put it on one sheet, it gets harder, right? That's what this forces you to do. Sweet. So it goes, all right, we understand where we are now. Got it. What's next? You know, what is the actual problem from the data? Is it clear? Let's go into the goals and targets. What are we trying to achieve? What kind of analysis did we do around it? And as we're going, this is a, what did we say in the previous one? Uh, what did it say? Problem solving process, systematic problem solving process, way of thinking. It's saying, start with what you think. Let's go through. Let's analyze it. Let's figure it out. Hey, what are the possible countermeasures? That means like, what could we do? Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like pitch it around, see what we could do, what the back and forths are. Hey, what's our plan? Did we implement it? How did it go? And then what's the follow-up? Is it working? This is just walking you through this. PDCA in the Agile way is like plan, do, check, adjust. That's the kind of thinking. Now, the way you want to think about this, like how does it work in Agile? It's just saying, hey, if we have to solve problems, we have to root cause, we have to think through things. This is another template, another way to think through things logically. Don't get wrapped around the axle. This is totally cool, all right? And um, at the end of the day, as you're doing this, if you wanted to, Joe Practitioner out there, you want to do this, you don't do this alone. You don't do this in one sitting. You don't do this without talking to other people. That steals the genius of this process. You start working on it. You put your stuff there. Then you go out and pitch it to another person. Does this make sense? What do you got to add? And you go through there. The, the Japanese dudes call it nimawashi. I don't know what it exactly means. But in Japanese, I don't know what it means. But in English, what it means is that we pitch ideas around and we show respect for other people by bringing in their uh, you know, their insights. All right. So what is A3? A3 is all about a, a way of thinking, a systematic problem solving thing. And we're getting everything on one sheet of paper to tell a visual story with the details so that we can unite people through the problem solving process to get down the root cause, test it, get better. And on we go. How about that? A3, two little letters, a lot of words, a lot of understanding. See you later, alligator.